Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. Many of you out there would consider McDonald's a Happy Meal King. However, you could find some good toys from some of the other franchises out there, like Bird King and their classic Universal Monster set. Now, seeing how it's October, I decided to devote this whole month to nothing but Halloween action figures. Well, from the Happy Meals anyways. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at these guys. Which one will we be looking at this week? Okay, so here we have the Creature from the Black Lagoon, part of the Universal's classic monster set, and a relative latecomer to the classic genre. I remember my uncle going on about how cool the creature was back when I was a little kid, and I believe the Creature from the Black Lagoon movie was one of the first of the classic Universal monster movies that I actually saw, so it does kind of hold a special place in my heart. Also, now that I'm older, I can definitely appreciate the amount of detail that went into the costume back in the movie. When I saw him displayed at Burger King along with the rest of the monsters, I knew I had to get him. As a matter of fact, I think besides Frankenstein, he was the second one I sought out the most. Interesting little fact, but the creature was one of the first Universal monster franchises that had a sequel planned even before the movie hit the theaters. Not too bad for what can be considered an aquatic version of King Kong. What, you don't believe me on that? Go rent the classic movie and listen to the commentary. They actually even admit it in there. Alright, now technically one of the other monsters is my favorite, but this guy is actually my favorite figure out of the line. Um, and that's actually due to his, uh, what I consider is a really nice sculpt on him. Um, well, first off, I'll just say he has four points of articulation on him. Um, his head does not move. And I'm going to be a little bit gentle with him because he's made out of that clear transparent plastic that I've found can break over time. So you got to kind of be a little bit gentle if you're ever going to pick this one up. Um, but just if you can kind of get in close, you can kind of see the little bumps and ridges and you kind of see the little gills that are on the side here. Um, this guy's just sculpted really well and really nicely detailed. Um, it's kind of hard to see on the camera with that transparent plastic and also especially even real without the camera, it's kind of hard to see some of the details, but still he's He's just really nice. So he's got the nice little ridges that go all the way down. Um, another little interesting fact, he's actually taller than most of the other figures in the line. I would have thought Frankenstein would be the tallest, but, well, go figure. Um, now, he has a nice little gimmick on his chest. You can kind of see that there's a little seam right in there, although it's, it's hidden very well. And the idea is you press this in when you stick his head underwater, and then you can kind of squirt water at other people. So he's kind of a pool toy as well. He's a nice little squirter, bath, to him, bath time toy or whatever. Um, he's, I just really like this figure. He's actually earned a permanent place on my toy shelf, if that means anything. Now, this is the figure that I will point out as examples why I think the first wave of figures was better than the second. And here we have the second uh, creature or gill man that came out. And yeah, you can kind of see a real difference. Uh, this is where I mean on the second guy, I'm going to put him back here. Also, he stands really well, a lot better than any of the others. Um, yeah, you can see that this is just really cartoony, and this is the one where I almost think that they just kind of did it real last minute or didn't even try, or considered, oh yeah, these are for kids, so it's not going to matter all that much. Yeah, he has these real uh, noodle arms that just stick out to the side. It's just really soft features on the face. The chest is really disproportionate. The legs don't even move. Uh, and the odd thing is he has the same darn gimmick. Uh, you just dunk his head in water and then fill him up and he squirts. However, how he squirts is you extend his torso out and then squirt him down. Which looks really, in my opinion, it's stupid. It's like this was so much simpler and s such a better idea. It's like it doesn't take away from the figure. Obviously, you could easily just push the chest in and squirt him out. But no, you got to... Uh, extend this guy out and oh, well there you go uh, this is the example of why I think the second wave is uh, or I mean the first wave is a lot better I'm, I've seen this guy the second wave guy at a lot of thrift stores and other stuff so I, uh, he's going to probably be really easy to find if you ever look out for him this one however I definitely recommend anyone getting he I mean he just looks really cool <laughs> like I said he's on my shelf going to be on my shelf permanently for as long as I as I want him up there it's just 
if you're going to have a collection, I would definitely seek this guy out. I don't know how much he is on eBay because, well, I have him, so I don't really need to find him. Another little interesting thing is that the creature is actually one of those other monsters that has not had a remake of his movie uh, lately. Uh, some people say that it would be good. Some people say that the original is so classic. But I actually, for one, would like to see a remake of the uh, creature movie. Um, not to say that it might ruin the franchise. I don't think it would necessarily ruin the franchise, but it's a remake. If you don't like it, you go back to the classic. But I think he would be one, definitely with today's CG or today's makeup effects, it would definitely be neat to see how they would portray the creature. Anyways, that's a look at the creature or the gill man. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen today, please feel free to subscribe or leave a comment below. Any advice for the show will be greatly appreciated. Who knows, something you suggest may appear on the show in the future.